Hi everybody, good morning and welcome to a roundtable discussion about the state of cleft lips and palates here in the Philippines. My name is Isa Liton and I'm here with three amazing ladies who will be coming up with solutions to this cleft problem in our country. First things first, I'm going to give you a little backgrounder on what it is like. It's estimated that 5 billion people lack the access to essential surgical and anesthesia care around the world. Children among those who are most affected by this very grave inequity and are estimated to represent nearly 1.7 billion of the 5 billion who are unable to access treatment. So we're here today to talk about how organizations like Smile Train help improve access to safe, quality, and timely treatment for children who are born with a cleft lip. A cleft lip is a cut in the lip or a cleft palate, which is actually a hole in the roof of the mouth. So here to talk about all that, first off, we have Dr. Erlinda Orachon, patient safety advocate and pediatric anesthesiologist of the World Federation of Societies of Anesthesiologists. Say hi, Doc. Hello, everybody. Very hi. smooth. <laughs> Good morning, Dr. Orachon. Yes. Joining her, we have Smile Train Senior Vice President for Programs, the very lovely Miss Erin Stever. Hi, Erin. Hi, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Well, thank you to Smile Train. That's why we're having this discussion today. And also the plastic, uh, plastic and reconstructive surgeon from Cabanatua, Nueva Ecija. She's actually one of the Smile Train affiliated surgeons since 2008. We have Dr. Laura May Aguirre de Guzman, or Dr. May. Good morning. Good, Good morning, morning, everyone. Okay, so since our roundtable discussion about clefts here in the Philippines is brought to us by Smile Train, why don't we find out what Smile Train is all about? Erin, please. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Smile Train is an organization whose focus is to ensure that every child, no matter where they are born in the world, including here in the Philippines, has access to safe, high quality, timely, comprehensive care for cleft lip and palate. Um, and, and that really means that we want every child who is born with a cleft to be able to access free treatment in free. their own communities, 100% free. Free, I want to stress that, <laughs> free treatment. Yeah, um, a condition yeah. like this shouldn't bankrupt a family. So our goal is to ensure that um, any child has access to free treatment and we do that through our sustainable model. Um, so uh, rather than uh, flying in teams of doctors um, from other countries to come here and, um, and patients waiting for them and hoping they can achieve care, we uh, have partners who are on the ground year round, Filipino partners, uh, doctors, anesthetists, um, speech pathologists, orthodontists, they're here treating the children in their own communities. Uh, we've supported more than 60,000 uh, cleft treatments. Already, uh, since you uh, were here since, since 2001. Since 2001, wow. uh, through our incredible network of partners. And, and every day, uh, year round, we're providing essential treatment to children with cleft here. Where did Smile Train uh, begin uh, on a global scale yeah. before coming to the Philippines? So Smile Train, well, the Philippines, we started in 1999 in China, so we're just celebrating our 20th anniversary. Thank you. Uh, but the Philippines uh, was shortly thereafter in 2001. And uh, we've now supported one, more than 1.5 million cleft treatments um, in more than 70 countries. So it's um, just a massive amount of children who have uh, received the opportunity for help. But similarly, um, our focus has always been on, on working with the doctors here in the country and understanding um, what they and the patients need so that the treatment can be offered here. So we provide training, we provide um, support, and we really want to um, empower the medical professionals here to treat the children and also empower the children and the families so that these children are no longer hidden away. Yeah. So that the stigma uh, doesn't exist here and that every child who's born with a cleft can access uh, treatment when they need it. And have normal lives, and, normal and happy, have, healthy lives. Exactly. I want to talk about uh, setting up shop because I like how Smile Train actually works that they also recognize the doctors that are already available here in the Philippines, the, who we have. These are our resources. So how is it like setting up shop in the country when you first entered in 2001 between yeah. you and like Dr. Orashon, who's actually part of the WFSA, the World Federation of Societies of Anesthesiologists, right? Yeah. How is that like to start off things here in the Philippines? Yeah, I'm happy to, to speak to that first. So our, our goal is um, not just that children receive surgical care, but that they receive safe, high quality surgical care of the highest standard and that they receive the services they need. There's a big misconception around cleft. People think um, it it's may be just, just a cosmetic yes. procedure, yeah. um, yes. but it affects children's ability to eat. Um, oh. There are children that may die of malnutrition if they're not able to. Because it's a hole in the mouth. Cleft Absolutely. palates are, you can't see it. It's all the way inside. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think in the Philippines, we call it ngalang -ngala. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. The roof of your mouth, mouth. That's right? right. It, it, it's, and it's bone, huh? It lip, because this lip is just flesh. But can you imagine if your skull wasn't fully formed? Yes. So, you know, 
even breathing, I would think, it yes. would be affected. And even the way the teeth are formed. Uh, it's all here. Yes, so they can't eat. Why. They have a hard time speaking. Yeah, so it's, it's a right. big concern, right? Yeah, they're more likely to have infections. And then similarly, because cleft is misunderstood, um, often the mother is blamed. Um, yeah. There's a belief that she did something wrong, and that's absolutely not the case. This is um, often a genetic predisposition, or it's something that, that happens. But um, but due to the stigma, um, children may be hidden away. People may not think this is a problem here in the yes. Philippines, and it's because because of the stigma and the lack of understanding about cleft and that it's repairable and repairable um, year-round for free by yeah. Smile Train and our incredible partners. Um, children Speak are hidden away. So we want to ensure that all of these patients can um, be treated. Can be treated. And that's why you do work with uh, Filipino doctors. So how was that like setting up a partnership with them? Yeah, so when we arrive in the country, we um, really do assess where there are uh, patients in need and where there are hospitals. And um, not just in Manila, this is all over the country. Yeah, right? all over the country in Manila and, and all over the world as well. Uh -huh. But yes, it's uh, all around the country here in Manila. There's the availability of mm -hmm. care. And so um, it's obviously finding very strong surgeons that we yes. can work with, not only uh, like Dr. May, not only to treat uh, the patients that need treatment now, but to train the next generation of surgeons. And then anesthesia is a huge component in nursing of what we do Because it's a surgery. To treat uh, clefts, obviously it's surgery, meaning you have yeah. to cut, you have to st stitch, you yeah, have to... You're intubated. Yeah, yeah. so it's, it's a major procedure. Yes. Yes. So that's yes. why the Smile Train's uh, you know, mission of making sure it's safe, the right equipment and right. all these are in place. How were you introduced to Smile Train? Because like, you entered 2008. Uh, yes. they, they began 2001. Like, how did you get on board? So how it went for me was that I was visited by the country director of Smile Train, and I think Smile Train was just starting then. Um, and, and your he, background is ENT? Or I'm a PDF? plastic and reconstructive surgeon. Okay. okay. So, so now I've okay. had a lot of experience with cleft lips in my training, and I do them in the government hospital as well and in private practice. But mm -hmm. they approached me and um, asked if I could um, provide uh, uh, free cleft lips for patients um, in, 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 in a private hospital, mm, not even okay. in a government hospital. And I could look for a partner hospital who can work with me. And Sounds the like a funding, great deal. Yeah, the, the funding <laughs> yeah. would be totally free for the patients. So mm -hmm. I was willing to start, I started with just 30 patients for a year. Next year it became 80. Next wow. year it became 100. So I love the multiplication. So yeah. now it's, I'm up to my thousandth patient already. Per club, uh, with your partnership with Smile, with Smile Train. Train. That's yeah. amazing. So it, it's, it became a model. And in Kabanatuan, huh? We're not <laughs> yes. even talking about Metro Manila levels here. Yes. Again, this is just proof that it's all over the Philippines. Available puto dito sa Pilipinas, free. Yes, okay. and we're easy to reach just by phone. But um, they can just text and then we can give instructions to the patients on how to come to us. And it's easy. Um, there's no... Um, lines no um, we accommodate each patient we make sure that they can receive the the the, the surgery that they need on time okay they come. i'm gonna expand more on this later but of course going to dr Roshan because this is a practice all over the world we just heard from dr may how her entry with the smile train partnership started and how it's it's been going on in the philippines how you were able to help again from 30 to already a thousand right yes. But on a global scale with the practices of the World Federation of Societies of Anesthesiologists, we just want to make sure that we're driving the point that Smile Train's practices are really globally, you know, it's on a global level. Yeah. So, Well, I would, I would really say that the Smile Train would be on a global level because in the World Federation of Societies of Anesthesiologists, our point is to unite anesthesiologists all over the world to come up with patient access and good outcomes and making sure that we give safe anesthesia. And the way we do it, this actually, is by coming up, we have our international standards for th the safe practice of anesthesia, and we have certain guidelines there, which we make sure that we expand to all the anesthesiologists, especially here in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. yeah. Aside especially when it comes to kids. Of course, yes. especially right? when it's it comes to kids. It's a, to it's a kids different matter when yes. it comes to administering anesthesia yes. to kids. Yes, and we're very particular about that. And you must remember, not all are trained pediatric anesthesiologists. Yeah. Yes. So part of this uh, um, commitment of the WSA is to come up with safe anesthesia courses. 
to make sure that we expand this to all the anesthesiologists, upscale their training, upscale our providers, make sure that the team will help in making this happen. We must remember, like Dr. May and Erin would say, is the patient is at the center of everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For the patient to be at the center of mm -hmm. everything, to make sure it comes out safe, we have to have good equipment. And, um, that's why good it's private hospitals. Yes, yes. You, that's you why stressed private hospitals. It has come. Yeah. We have expanded to hospitals rather than doing it wherever we yeah. could find. Right. Uh, then we have to have the skills now of the anesthesiologist and the surgeon so that the patient comes out safe. And this is what we are trying to do. Um, in the, I work with the Craniofacial Foundation of the Philippines, mm -hmm. and part of what we do, and I, I really love the CEO and the staff how they work it out because. What we have done is according to the standards of safe anesthesia, we've actually made sure that prior to surgery, we make sure that we connect with the different um, pediatricians, uh, healthcare workers in the other provinces and come up with a screening tool for them to see which are the patients that are appropriate for surgery. So it's not one size fits yes, all. Again, with each, each case is unique. Because I was also just going to, uh, like, that's why I asked Dr. May what's her background. And not just any cosmetic surgeon can That's do right. this, right? Or not even any ENT can just do it uh, mm -hmm. just like that. That's why I think Smile Train is very specific with, uh, with what you're looking for. With, everyone's a professional when you say you're a doctor, right? Yes. But again, this is a special case, uh, especially a special, um, uh, a special yes. state, yes. this cleft, be it a lip or palate, right? Mm -hmm. So it's nice to see how Dr. Orlashon is actually saying it's that specific when it comes to all these guidelines, yes. training requirements. And if I may add, it's not only about the surgery. They have to understand too that we have some preparations as well. Like they have to fast, there are they shouldn't the eat practices. before the surgery. We have to make sure they have no other diseases. They don't have uh, very bad respiratory infections because otherwise this will change the outcome of the surgery. Mm -hmm. We maybe have good surgeons and good anesthesiologists, but if the patient yeah. does not also follow what we expect of them, then we're not going to have the safe outcomes from surgery. Okay, so I hope everyone's already feeling really campante. I hope everyone's feeling very, very comfortable with the fact that with Smile Train's efforts, they really are providing the best of the best to provide solutions for cleft lips and palates here in the Philippines. Now let's talk about the heart of the matter, the children that they are helping. So how does this go? Like, I know as much as possible you want to help as soon as uh, even the baby's born? Is it like upon birth or of course when you when the baby yeah. comes out and you can already see yes. the of cleft course. is how does it work yeah. well um, as soon as the baby is born of course the, and and the, the parents find out that they have their child has a cleft lip then all the apprehension is there the yeah. uncertainty so um, with smile train there is a doctor there that they can go to immediately once the patient the baby is uh, comfortable at home they can like in two weeks they can go to the two or weeks even two weeks even the old babies can already be operated on no no no, no just no. for consultation just, okay consultation. consultation that's why okay wait we're trying no. to make sure this is clear okay yeah. so, so the doctor can be there they can bring uh, they can bring the patients to the uh, cleft surgeon and then the cleft surgeon can um, explain assess yeah assess and explain to them how the treatment will go so that their apprehensions will be um, uh, they, they will lose their um, apprehension about the, their patients. Just any hospital has, I mean, what if I'm in a, no, no, not, I can't afford, like especially here in the Philippines, there's a lot of, uh, they're not doulas. Uh, a midwives? Yes, midwives, mm -hmm. there you go. Like, Yeah, uh, we have a, a website, um, our, our Smile Train Philippines, you can reach out anytime and we will be able to tell you um, where your cl yes. closest Smile Train treatment facility is, so yes. Anywhere, anywhere in the Philippines. Anywhere in yes. the Philippines. Yeah. Um, and I would add too that, um, yeah, as soon as the child is born, um, they should seek out treatment right. because mm -hmm. while um, while the surgery is essential and, and can pr be provided at three uh, three or six months often, um, it's really essential that these children understand um, and their families understand. Their parents. Their parents yes. understand yeah. how important it is that they um, have a consultation early on because there are treatments that can happen before surgery that yes. can greatly improve their outcomes. And um, there's feeding support that is offered. Children with cleft may um, face challenges feeding, uh, in particular due to a cleft palate. And there are strategies that can be used right. to really ensure they are well, well nourished enough. And then depending on the cleft, there are some uh, pre-surgical orthodontic 
treatments as well that can really um, ensure an, an, uh, a great outcome for the child. So as soon as a child is born, yes, um, it's, there's, you it's can wonderful. already approach Smile Train. Yep. Again, yes. be it from a website or ask your pediatrician. You ask ask the doctors or, or your barangay clinics. Are you also uh, are you are you felt in barangay clinics? That um, smile for, train is for provided. My, yeah, for my um, area situation, for my um, community, um, we've already um, <coughs> since oh, we've Jesus. been there for eight, uh, eleven years. We've already informed all the social workers oh, and the municipal health officers, so they, they can know, point them in the right direction. They know that um, there's available um, services. Uh, yes, cleft surgery and cleft care all year round, so they Free. can just. So mm -hmm. they, so it's a, it's there's a referral system within the community from mm. the parents, from the social workers. So it's well, it's kind of well known already in my area. So I want to graduate not just birth because of course birth everyone's like you know everyone always expects a perfect baby, mm -hmm. but of course you know when you especially when you see something physical, there's a little panic factor. But for those who already are toddlers, they, they just said, nah, this is nothing, just live with it, right? So for like two, three-year-olds or five-year-olds, 10-year-olds, 12-year-olds, you can still get treatment, right? Yes, so course. especially if you're seeing this for the first time, like, wait, I, I just saw this online, mommy, that uh, there's a smile train. So maybe if I have a cleft, cleft lip or I have a friend who's always teased, yes. I'm sure, you, you know, you know how kids can be like, ah, ha, ngo, ngo. Mm -hmm. you can't five years old to, you know, teenager. Well, for, for the lips, uh, we can operate on them as early as three months and then as uh, uh, whatever age they are, <coughs> anytime. It doesn't I mean, matter like uh, if you're a teenager or even an ad yes, adult? Yes, of course, we can operate on uh, a cleft lip any, at any age. But the earliest that we recommend is three months. And then there's also a timing for that. So three months for the lip and then with, uh, up to 18 months for the um, cleft palate around one year to one and a half years old. That's the ideal time that we do operate on the palate. Okay, how long does the operation take? Uh, three hours? Five no, hours? No. Not even? Four, 45 minutes for oh. the lip. <coughs> really? And then yeah. Just for the, it's okay because that's an lip. hour for that's the palate. And yeah. an hour, because I'm thinking for the palate, it's like bone, right? That's like mm. yes, that's well, muscle. Yeah. muscle. Yeah. Well, if, if you, uh, with experience, a lot of experience and... So it's um, just so it's, an hour, not, so you don't even have to... It's not even pre-surgical pre, uh, preps, like oh, you're well, saying no. fasting, that's but the that's the actual night surgery. Before. But then a lot of preparations, um, pre-op and then mm -hmm. post-op, of course. But Do the you have to stay surgery, in the hospital overnight after? Overnight, yes. At least overnight. At least. It's uh, not like an outpatient procedure. No, no. no. Or for the uh, uh, older cleft lips, then we can do an outpatient. It's uh, like a 16-year-old who hasn't had cleft lip surgery yet. Then that can be an outpatient. Really? You can go home right, yeah. right after. Right after and yeah, just make sure you follow can, the guidelines Sometimes after. we can do local anesthesia for simple lips, um, for just the slits, and then they can go home. And wow. the transformation is yes, yeah. immediate. It, it's 45 minutes it's in. It's incredible. And the transformation. Very fulfilling. Yeah. And they are, there, there are uh, changes immediately. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I can yes. imagine that the first yeah. time they, yeah. they put that yeah. mirror or, you know. Yeah. Of course, oh, yeah. with post-surgery, it's uh, like black and blue or swollen. swollen. But it's, it's, it's when that subsides and you see your face, like, yeah. I can so smile. And yeah. to see the change in their mother and right. mothers and their yeah. family's eyes when they right. see them too, yeah. it's right. most beautiful Very thing. Good. Thank you again yeah. to Smile Train for ah, this. It's but, an honor. <laughs> but let, let's talk, um, that was a wake up call for me. I was really thinking like three to five hours, how long does it take? Mm -hmm. But again, it's 45 minutes to an hour. But what is the worst case scenario like mm -hmm. you or Dr. Ashon, Dr. May have had to deal with, like a complication? Well, uh, the most common complications, which is not quite, doesn't quite off, uh, off happen often is um, <coughs> uh, infection. And so some form of wound, um, wound healing problems. But That's not post operation. For, what for about the lips? before? Um, well, before. Yeah, um, like what are the worst cases that are presented to smile? So pain? children can die from malnutrition if yes. they're not because able they to really can they swallow yes. or yeah. chew. And and there also um, is a potential risk of infection. Um, because children will not be able to swallow again, they may have uh, or it's uh, stuck going to their lungs or come yeah. out their right. nose. Um, 
they may have respiratory problems. So um, it is, it's a really essential surgery um, for these children to have, and it's really important um, that their families prioritize taking them for care. Yeah, and don't hide them, please, please. Yeah. Mommy's, daddies, it, it, it's not something to be ashamed of. It's actually being, treatments are being offered for free. That's yeah. why Smile Train is with us today. Again, we want to get the word out that these uh, cleft situations, be it lip or palates, can be easily addressed. And again, for free, please, I can't stress that enough, mm -hmm. for free. Just so, can you imagine your children just not being teased anymore? Mm -hmm. They can speak better, uh, communicate better, and more importantly, why we need this or why you're oh. pushing, they can eat. Yeah. You need to eat yes. to be able to live, Provided right? Provided that they don't eat just before surgery. <laughs> okay. It's that's Fasting very important. The actual they surgery. need to follow instructions yeah. as well. So it's not about just being able to go there. They need to make sure they are away from those who have infections if they mm -hmm. want to have surgery. Yes. You can't have it if you have what? A cold? Even yes. a common cold? No? Not you have to with a wait for the cold. Not with Fever. A respiratory. Not with a respiratory infection. We mm -hmm. can't have it. Because it's here. Yes. Because after it's, all, it's You here. have yeah. to, um, it will give us a problem in terms of the airway. But, but the beautiful thing about Smell train on is that we are here year round. Yes. So if a child is scheduled for surgery and may have an upper respiratory infection, they can wait. That doesn't they can mean wait. they yeah. have to wait years. Yes. They can be scheduled yes. for surgery yes. two weeks later and, and get the treatment as soon as they're healthy enough to receive it. To to be able to line up for these amazing services or treatments from Smile Train. So, for example, I just got referred, and I find myself in your office. Right or in a in a hospital where Dr. you're affiliated, yeah, Dr. May's office. Yeah, there. So it's like, oh, hi, Dr. May. Yes. I, I just heard uh, about you, and I have a five-year-old child. Yeah. So when they go to you, uh, do they have like? Is it just a matter of signing papers? How is the screening process? Mm -hmm. Like, will anyone ever be turned away? Or I, I mean, it's something you can see. Like, yeah, I can see. Come, I'll take you. Uh, well, of course, no one is turned away. We see all the patients. I evaluate the patients. Um, if the the surgery is uh, well, usually if there are um, uh, orofacial clefts that are more complicated, then we talk about that. There mm -hmm. are other clefts that are not as simple as the cleft lip, so those are more difficult ones. But majority are, you know, they will have their surgery. Um, so what we do is um, we refer. I refer the patient to the pediatrician. If the patient is at the right age, then he will, she will, he or she will be scheduled. Um, as soon as, the, well, sometimes there is a, um, a, a list of patients of course, who were yeah. there before. It's just really scheduling. Yeah, scheduling, yeah. but within, they, they will be scheduled within that month. So, um, and then we refer the patient to the pediatrician for evaluation. And for, also post for also for post, care. Yes, for post op care. So we work with a partner pediatrician who makes sure that the patient is uh, uh, um, ready and uh, free from um, possible complications after surgery. And from Dr. May's office, she just reaches out to Smile Train. There are available forms already for... Oh, yes. It's yes. very systematized. Yeah, very how, systematized. yeah, I was going to ask how, about, about that. We don't even have to inform Smile Train. No more so. waiting time. Also, no, like, no, 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 we have to wait for Smile Train no. to approve this. No, like, no, you no know, waiting. Nothing but like you that. have to include the pediatrician. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. right. oh, yeah, there, too. Of course, <laughs> after the pediatrician. Don't forget yeah, the anesthesiologist because yeah. it can't happen without the no, pre yeah. no yeah. surgery will happen without anesthesiologist. Yeah. So yes. all this is, again, an amazing network put together by yeah. Smile Train. And it's these teams that are really important. Right. It's yes. having this. It's a um, whole team. It is. It's a team. It's, it's, it's surgeons, teamwork. it's anesthetists, mm -hmm. it's nurses, nurses, it's empowering all of the people that are part of this care. Yes. And it's amazing that there are people who will volunteer. Huh. I, I mean, and my anesthesiologist is amazing. She volunteers. My pediatricians, I mean, they're not being paid, and but they will yes. still um, do Provide these cases. These um, but speaking so of payment, actually, I was going to ask Erin, how is this possible? How does Smile Train do this? I know you have wonderful partners you want to thank for this. Yeah. Because I mean, to provide this kind of service. Yeah. I, and, and to be able to provide it free. There are nearly 5,000 children born with cleft yes. in the Philippines every year. Mm -hmm. um, and, and to be able to provide free treatment to all of them requires um, a, a lot of people to generously give. And so we have donors, um, partners here in the Philippines um, and around the world, in the United States, and the UK who uh, really value these children and, and want to ensure that they have the chance to lead a, a, a good happy, quality. healthy life. And then we have incredible medical professionals and partners around the world who are willing to give so generously 
of their time for these children so that they have a chance um, at a productive life. And that network um, and that those partners that we bring together is really what makes all of it possible. Here's another thing I got from Erin earlier when we were having a chat. Apparently, here's another uh, piece of good news. The Philippines is not as so bad <laughs> as the rest of the world. So I was going to ask now, how does the Philippines fare against the rest of the world when it comes to these cleft uh, treatments and problems? Yeah. Like, at least with the Philippines, like you were saying, our doctors are more than willing yes. to help, to volunteer. To, to share their time and efforts. How, how, how about the rest of the world? Yeah, so here in the Philippines, um, we're actually providing more surgical treatments than there are patients born every year, which is incredible. Yes, I yes. think that speaks to the strength of the network, to the number of, right. um, of wonderful partners that we have volunteering with us. Um, and that's not the case everywhere. Here in the Philippines, uh, since we've been here since 2001, and um, due to the quality um, and standards of training, um, we've really been able to build a very significant network so that countrywide these children can access care. And we're still working in many parts of the world um, to, to try to get that love, to build that up to that network level. Yeah, and, and we're so proud. I mean, again, uh, 1.5 million surgical treatments around the world is a massive number, but there's Most lots, lots of work. To, to still, be, to still done. be done here in the Philippines and everywhere, these children need to be prioritized. Mm -hmm. uh, doctors um, like Dr. May and Dr. Aracian are incredible trainers of yeah. the future generations mm -hmm. of, right. of professionals that will take care of these children. But we're very, very proud of our programs mm -hmm. here in the Philippines and how uh, passionate they are about these children and how um, how high the standard of care they provide us. Well, our hats off to all the doctors and anesthesiologists, to the pediatricians and to the surgeons who are jumping on Smile Train's efforts just yes. so we can re help the rest of our countrymen, especially our children, the Pinoy children, Filipino children, right? Because again, the practice before was having to fly in or just wait for an organization for to say, an yeah, let's reach out to the Philippines, yeah. let's go help them. But, now, because of Smile Train, Filipinos can also help, help each other, yeah. Yeah. help themselves yes. already. That's right. And putting it now in a global, uh, there's another reason why Smile Train is actually trying to up <clears throat> the awareness regarding cleft uh, palates and lips here right now. You have a global forum happening now, right? Yeah. Uh, in the Philippines? Yeah, or, yes. there's a meeting here right now. And um, yeah, there's so, there's so much happening in global health. Um, and it's such an exciting time. There are the sustainable development goals. Um, uh, yeah, this uh, universal health care by 2030 yes. movement. This was news to me. <laughs> so what, what is this? Yeah. It's an incredible movement to really ensure that governments are prioritizing um, bringing health care sure. to everyone. And to, uh, there's a term, last mile. And, and these are the people, often the poor people or the people that are in really rural areas who are the ones who can't access health care. And yeah. so Smile Train has always prioritize those children, those families, uh, making sure that they can get free treatment. And there's a lot of really exciting discussion happening right now around uh, surgery, surgery, certainly anesthesia, which is an essential component of surgery, and making sure that as we look at the sustainable development goals, as we look at universal health coverage and the last mile, we can't achieve those without surgery. Yeah, We can't achieve those without surgery for children, safe anesthesia to support it. So. Um, there are incredible discussions uh, going on around the world, um, and one happening right here in the Philippines yes. to, to ensure that that, uh, that work is prioritized. And Dr. Urshan, you, you, you wanted to stress about more comprehensive cleft care also all over the Philippines. Yes. It's part of this global forum on safer surgeries. Yes, well, it's more about, I think, the thing that we have to do first is start working together as a yeah. team. We need to stop working, again, in silos. Mm -hmm. We cannot do it, our work apart from each other mm -hmm. as you said we need to help this network this network work together and move forward so that we can have safer outcomes better outcomes and really help people especially the underprivileged especially yeah. let's put the philippines on this uh, yes. united uh, universal so health care by 2030 the philippines will be one yeah. to actually achieve this <laughs> 2030 yeah. what we got That's 11 10, years left yeah. not even 10, 10, 10 years. 2020 so already 10 years. we got 10 years to work on this <laughs> we've started an uh, amazing campaign in uh, Romblon looking at yes, um, neglected so surgical nice. diseases right. and um, and working with the mayor there to go door to door and mm -hmm. find those children and, and those patients that have not yet accessed treatment yes. and 
our goal is to work on um, identifying those children with cleft nationwide. Because um, even with all the work that's being done and all the advocacy and all the access that's here, there's I'm sure still a lot of still yeah. There's a lot of still un not yeah. aware. Yeah. So and that means that since we've been working with Romblon, that means that it's not only about getting the team together. It's about asking the government to help all these people. Efforts. Who need. Yes. To help us with their efforts, because yes. it's already being done. It's so already being done. So how can the government assist? It's assist. Yes. Definitely. Because yes. uh, you've already talked about how private hospitals are getting in there. But of mm -hmm. course, if we're talking about really helping mm -hmm. Filipinos, a lot cannot afford. And knowing our, our Filipinos who are always nahihiya, they're like, we don't have money, mm -hmm. or are feeling mm -hmm. ashamed, mm -hmm. uh, or they say there are bigger problems. But again, this is something that we can address because it's offered for free. It is free cleft lip or cleft palate treatments offered by Smile Train. So if you have a neighbor, if you have a cousin, if you have a friend, and I'm sure you have that friend that you always tease, just bring them, hey, why don't you check out this Smile Train program? And then they will refer you to the nearest doctor, surgeon, mm -hmm. anesthesiologist team who can actually work on this problem. And next time you see that friend of yours, She's smiling, he or she's smiling ear to ear, just beaming with this new smile, mm -hmm. right? That's right. That's right? It's really the effects of just giving every Pinoy child who was born with a cleft limb or palate a chance at a happy, normal, healthy, healthy life. life. Mm -hmm. and, and we have a wide network of, of different types of hospitals that we yeah, work with. Right. It's a really phenomenal network. Um, and, and there is such incredible work being done here in the Philippines um, mm -hmm. with you and, and with all of our partners around. You already us. mentioned Nueva Ecija, Cabanatuan, Romblon. Mm -hmm. I was just expecting Manila, Cebu, Davao. No. 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 Well, there again. too. But yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. because yes. those are the major cities. Yeah, exactly. But again, see again the things that you would probably not think of, of going there. You're even in like Marawi, Mindanao, everything. Yeah. You're covered all over the Philippines. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, we want to, to bring the care to the people that need it. Um, and, and, and work with our partners to do that, yeah. and, and it's it's really fantastic. And um, you know, Phil Health is um, is engaging with some support for cleft treatments, and um, and there's incredible work again being done by the mayors and other leaders to try and prioritize these programs. If our city, if if someone from like a, a barangay or city would is not yet connected with Smile Train, how can they connect with you? Please like, go online and go to our website. Um, there is contact information there. Okay. Reach out, let us know where you like, are. Some, a, a mayor, right? Or yes. a barangay captain Absolutely. even. Captain. If, if, yes, if barangay right. captains, mayors are watching and they're saying, wait, wala pa to sa city ko, wala pa to sa barangay ko. Please do connect and uh, check out the website. Yep. Send an email yes. and hook up. Our team will <laughs> respond. <laughs> they will They're respond. thrilled to, to work with more and more great yes. partners. And they will send you to the nearest, um, if there is, the, the nearest possible cleft uh, uh, care center in the area. Are you still in touch with the families that you've already helped? I'm, uh, I'm sure this is like just going to make your heart like 10, 100 yes. times bigger. Definitely. For, for me, I've watched my page. The good thing about the smile train model is not just for the patients that they can see the surgeon anytime they want like for the next if they have any questions um, for the next part of the treatment um, but the surgeons them um, me myself I can see my patients grow up yeah and uh, so just recently we had a speech camp and I saw some of my patients were uh, had good speech and Already. they were in college and they yeah. were so it's it, at the, and for me, I know that I'm doing a good job. So, and it's very, it's very, uh, it's a two-way yeah. thing that um, the patients see me, and then I can see them also. So it's the whole community is involved in this kind of a model. So it's it's really wonderful. Again, another thing I want to touch on besides that beautiful story from Doctor Doctor Rame is that this is sustainable. Am mm -hmm. I right, Eric? Yes, this absolutely. is a sustainable program by. Uh, smile train. Uh, do you want to talk about the model? Because she actually said the smile train model. Yeah. So yes. this sustainable model, like you were saying, uh, teach a man how to fish. Right. Yeah. So um, this model is community based on the community that the community can take care of their own. So you have the surgeon, the anesthesiologist, the pediatrician. They're all they are all in the same area, um, and um, so as apart from knowing already their skills, smile train provides. Um, uh, training and further workshops and invite um, us from the provinces to attend these workshops to further um, expand our knowledge about clefts. Mm -hmm. So, and then we, we can pass it on 
to our next to the next generation, mm -hmm. mentoring the next generation to continue the system, um, and uh, just providing the same quality uh, uh, care for our patients, which is the highest yeah. possible quality mm -hmm. yes. that can be offered. That's Again, our top priority, right? Top priority. Yeah, the, the safest, highest quality care, and yeah, what we really do is we want to empower these incredible professionals yes. and empower them to treat and empower these families and so understanding what those barriers might have been that prevented right. them from getting treatment before if they couldn't afford the cost of the treatment which is why we offer it right. for, free. for free with our partners yes. um, venues yes. hospitals yes. available that if Making you're saying sure the there's equipment. no hospital here there's no nothing here yeah. you can actually go to the nearest, nearest one, one. Yes. to you yes, yes. 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 for sure there will be one yeah. near yes. you. you don't have to travel for days to get to treatment right. and miss work and so yeah and then making sure that those hospitals and those professionals have the training have the equipment yes. Um, and then we also provide um, support to ensure that there are campaigns in the country so that patients and are aware are aware are of aware. what theft mm. is and it's not stigmatized and they seek out their incredible medical professionals to get the treatment when they need it and um, yeah it's it's so moving to see these children um, and these parents um, grateful who, yeah who were so yes. um, fearful when yes. for their children when they were first born um, to to see them healed and and in 45 minutes and you know after it's the story, 45 minutes an hour some of my parents of my patients are my friends in facebook already <laughs> yeah <laughs> because they, you they, can stay connected they get, in this you know, world in this time already because right? i see them several times a year and then they're really they get they get really uh, comfortable with the, the doctors so yeah you're treated they like family to, uh, when you change friend. someone's life like that yeah. mm -hmm. and again through yeah. a procedure you will forever be connected right. and indebted yeah. to and that. And their dreams are more. Yeah. All yeah. of a sudden, mm -hmm. in that 45 minutes, their dreams expand. Yeah, yeah. it right? changes. Yes, it changes. Yeah. They say they'll become. This is she's going to become Miss Universe, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. And we, it's, it's incredible. We've seen that. Yes. Yeah, and we um, I, we have uh, cleft patients that have gone on to to work at our partner hospitals mm, that yes. are now nurses yes. treating mm -hmm. cleft patients. And yeah. they're partner passing hospitals. it on. Yeah. They, they are passing they are the paying it forward. Yeah. yeah. Forward. And similarly, um, I, I think the community that we've been able to form through our network of hospitals, when when patients come in and see other mothers mm -hmm. whose mm -hmm. children have had surgery, right? That's true. Um, it just gives them this um, hope. Uh, this yes. hope and this yes. confidence in the future, and it's such a beautiful thing to see. I want to touch on that also, what Erin is just saying, because again, we live in a culture that just because you're different, mm. or you're born, especially if it's something you're born mm. with, something's wrong with you, right? Just take that out, because again, these are immediate, free solutions yes. that are already available. So hopefully, this stigma, this mm. mentality or way of thinking can just be eradicated. And, and you know, the next, uh, in 10 years from now, when we hit this 2030, universal health care, when you just see a baby, oh, okay, that's fine. That's yeah. absolutely fine because there, it's an easy treatment. It, it's, a, it's, a, yes. it's something that's free. It can be worked on and you never even have to worry anymore. Yeah, I mean, these, these children are the same as everyone else. They, yeah. um, they are going to face some additional struggles in their early life. They are going to need some surgery that other children who aren't affected um, likely won't need, but yeah. But they um, they can lead the same lives. They can do everything that any other child could, can do. And I think it's really important that um, that the community understands there's no reason for stigma. These children are just like everyone else, and um, especially since they're able to receive this safe, timely treatment. There you go. So uh, I think you know every, everything pretty much said that there is a system in place. There's uh, doctors. Please never, never discount how great Filipino doctors can be. And what yes. more when we actually have this world-class level training yes. and sharing of best practices already in place. All this we can give to our fellow Filipinos, to our Filipino children. So what is there left to do but actually just jump on this opportunity, refer it to someone who needs it. And should you want to be connected to the Smile Train Network, it's just a matter of going to the network, uh, to the website, yeah. website. and filling a, send an email, yes. making yes. a phone call. call. Yep. It's that easy. And then next thing you know, a team will come over and uh, help connect with you and have the service available to your barangay, to your hometown, wherever in the Philippines. Yep. Am I right? Yep. So right. ladies, on a, on a final note to, to our viewers right now, especially when it comes to cleft lips and cleft palates, uh, that message of hope. <laughs> well, Dr. May. 
Um, so I really would like to encourage uh, people to be involved in uh, this kind of um, with smile train. Even um, if you're not the one with the cleft lip, that's yes, a very yes. good point. Mm -hmm. Everyone mm -hmm. watching this involved. now, so yeah. if if you have a neighbor, you have mm -hmm. a relative, you can easily just advise them that smile train is available, and the 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 website is there, the Facebook. Uh, um, uh, pages there, so Instagram um, too. Yes, yes. yes. So <laughs> very easy to contact, and they will uh, Smile Train would respond quite quickly. Um, also for volunteers who want to to be involved, like um, doctors, other yes, doctors, mm, uh, nurses, orthodontists. We need we need orthodontists. We need speech pathologists. Mm -hmm. So they are all very welcome to volunteer for Smile Train. Oh yes, it's th there's the therapy pa, so yes, you don't necessarily pathology. have to be a doctor to be able to help. Right, right. Yes, so yeah. Yeah. very, very important. Okay, so they're like teachers. Yes. 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 So if you're actually a teacher and you want to try to specialize in this one, you can also join. Yeah, potentially. Yes. yes. <laughs> right? And you can certainly. Some, I some think. have actually um, teachers of my patients. Once they're operated on, mm -hmm. they 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 target the, the patient uh, the the student. And teach and teach the student. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Again, the, right. the possibilities are just wanting to out to, to right. be part of this volunteer work yep. is, is endless. As mm -hmm. long as you, hey, I want to do that too. Let's see what you can, where they can fit you, yep. what, where you can provide this yeah, extra service. Yeah, we have schools um, teach about acceptance, do fun, small fundraisers for for other children around the country that need them. So yeah, I think there are myriad ways for for people who want to right. get involved to get involved. Is um, there like a cleft day? Right, like there's a yeah. cancer day. There's a something. Is there yeah. like a World Cleft Day? There is a World Cleft awareness. Day. Yeah, yeah, World Cleft Awareness Day um, in September every year. Oh, so yes. please, okay. we've just it's just passed. Yeah, but, um, but, but keep uh, the awareness going throughout the year. Absolutely, and yes. across all of our, our social channels, we'll always be be chatting about it. And there are usually activities to really celebrate these children and families right. um, in the country. And again, from Erin, there's the assurance that the Philippines <clears throat> is in a good place. So please. <laughs> take advantage of this uh, yeah. opportunity that Smile Train is providing for us. There's a solution. So there are children with cleft being born here every day, um, and, and it is something that is fixable. There's an incredible network here that is just waiting to help these children. So please, please um, come forward, refer those that you know, um, and make sure that all the children that are being born here in the Philippines with cleft access safe, timely treatment and have the best chance to lead a happy, healthy, normal, productive life. Love that. And again, go, going back to world standards, Dr. Arashon, to tie it up nicely. I think on a global scale, I think most Filipinos are always afraid of anesthesia. Mm -hmm. You need not be afraid because the World Federation of Societies of Anesthesiology always makes sure that they set out the standards for safe anesthesia practice. So we will ensure that all our anesthesiologists have the training that they need, especially for children because this is where we have our problems in terms of the anesthesia given to them. We don't have trained pediatric anesthesiologists in all areas of the country. We need so, more, yes. so, and that's why you're there. And aside from that, we can start training them, helping them become the occasional pediatric anesthesiologists who will have the same yes. safe standards yes. of care yes. provided by the World Federation. No need to go back to medical school for, an, yes. for another no two years. <laughs> Again, you, you already graduated <laughs> medical school, right? But at least, uh, at least these uh, extra, extra learnings yes. are, learning, will definitely yes. come into play. Updated. So updated practices and uh, training yeah. are and definitely going to be there. And if I could just say, again, we have our website, we have all of our social media platforms. There are so many ways to get in touch and to learn more about Cleft. Again, uh, around World Smile Day in October, we're going to be doing more campaigns next year, but year-round treatment is available. So just go to all the different platforms, the one that, that is most um, accessible to you, and we will be able to, to reach to you and provide services. And to make sure you really are working with Smile Train, is there like some sort of certificate or plaque that are displayed in these doctor's oh, offices? Yes, yes. Just, just to make sure it's legit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I, need, I need to finally jump on that because I know we're sharing great news here. And we want to make sure it's legit. It's legit. Yeah, so, exactly. what do they look for? Well, Smile so. Train provided <laughs> us with a pla uh, um, acrylic. Um, uh, po well, uh, we post it on the in the Clinics. hospital. Yeah. So, no, when the no. patient comes in, they can see that this is uh, um, it accredited. Says we like accredited. provide free cleft lip yeah. and palate surgery in this hospital. And so, not like a stamp or a signature. 
Well, no. <laughs> then the, the, yeah, it's a plaque. It's a plaque. <laughs> it's a plaque. If you go to the website, yes. look at this logo, uh -huh. right? Yes. Because, uh, of course, nowadays also it's just one printing or, you know. Or last but not least, I think you can check out the website to see if that if place is an accredited clinic, right. an accredited yes. hospital, mm -hmm. an accredited doctor. I think also because of the good news that we're sharing, do your part to make sure that they are legit because it's already there. So it's like uh, the consumer's protection. Yeah, yeah. and our right? team um, who will respond to email inquiries or, or inquiries on social media will definitely make sure that I don't know of any imposters. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That is good. Please, let's keep it. But let's let's keep yes. it that way. But we'll definitely make sure that um, that we refer you to the center that will be closest to you and, yes. and most appropriate for you. Accredited. Yes, <laughs> the accredited center. Legit. Exactly. Yeah, and and um, yeah, it's just an incredible transformation mm -hmm. and um, and such a beautiful thing and such a beautiful sense of community within the Smile Train network that um, yeah, we're just so. Um, so thrilled that this resource is available here. Sense of here. collaboration yep. in right. the Philippines, so good, right? Yep. Well, I just think you guys are heroes. I really Thank do. You. Because again, for every child who once was like this, mm -hmm. yeah. no. will now like just put their chins yeah, up. That's right. And more importantly, what you stand for, smile. Mm -hmm. Yes. A lot of people take their smiles for granted. <laughs> yeah. But for yeah. these kids who are just ashamed, yes. just imagine them finally putting their chins up yeah. and saying, right. hey, I got this. Look at me. Yeah. yeah, and being so proud of, of everything they go on to, to do to and do to accomplish. Basics to eat, to speak, mm -hmm. to even Broken. breathe. Yep. Right? So, yep. again, thank you very, very much to Smile Train. Um, amazing panel of ladies, thank you very much for joining us. What you can do after hearing our discussion today, your part, anybody watching this, spread the word that there is this Smile Train effort initiative that surgeries, when it comes to cleft lips and cleft palates, are free and are available all over the Philippines because of Smile Train. Check out their website. But in the meantime, I want to say thank you to the Dr. Elinda Orashon, to Erin Steber, and Dr. Laura May Aguirre de Guzman for joining me this morning and for spreading these good, good efforts and initiatives to help our kids with cleft lips and cleft palates. My name is Issa Leton. Thank you for watching our Rappler Roundtable discussion. Enjoy the rest of the day, everybody. Bye. <laughs>